is going on guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be going ahead and unboxing the iphone 13. now as you can see from the front of the box we do have a change against the iphone 13 and the iphone 12. the cameras are diagonal but we'll get into that a bit more later on when we see the actual phone on the front of the box we have the iphone 13 and it feels like a pop out as usual of course we got it in the white color which is now called starlight we have the two cameras our flashlight on the sides, it says iPhone, the bottom and the top also have the Apple logo on it. On the back of the box just says iPhone 13 and this box includes the iPhone 13, the USB-C to lightning cable and the power adapter and the headphones are sold separately. So there is not gonna be any headphones or power adapter and all we're gonna get is just the lightning cable, the iPhone 13 and most likely the instructions if you get stuck. Let's go ahead and take the top off. Okay, we might need to put some power into this. <gasps> oh my god, I did not mean to do that. Well, of course we got the screen protector, so it's good. Should be good. The inside of the top of the box just has the indent of the cameras. Let's move the phone aside and talk about what is in the box. First thing we have is this, designed by Apple in California. Take it out, we got the SIM card tool. We got some instructions and of course we have the apple sticker and unfortunately there's only one apple sticker i have so many apple stickers but i really like collecting them so i really wish there was two but it's okay it's not like i use them anyways of course we have our lightning cable this is once again the usb to usb c cable it is the iphone 13 in the 128 gigabyte and it is in the color starlight let's move the box away and get onto the phone itself. Now on the paper type screen protector, we have a bit of instructions. Now, of course I know what it is, but in case you guys want a little detailed point of view, I'm just gonna tell you what each one means. We got the silent button or switch, I should say. So off, on, we got the volume up and down buttons. And of course we have the power button. Nothing difficult, same usual iPhone. And on the bottom, it just has a lightning symbol which demonstrates that that is where the lightning cable will go in to charge the phone. Let's go ahead and take it off. We'll go ahead and turn it on. And while it's turning on, let's just talk about the phone itself. So on the back, of course, we have our two cameras. Now the cameras this year are just in a diagonal rather than vertical. It really adds some oomph to the, to the phone, you know? Um, and then we got the flashlight and then we have a microphone. Of course, as usual, we have the Apple logo in the middle. And then we have this gorgeous starlight color. On the left side of the phone, we have the silent on and off switch. We have the volume up and the volume down, our SIM card tray. On the bottom, we have our speaker and microphone. We have our lightning port. And then on the right side, we have our power on and off button. On the left side, we have two antenna bands. On the bottom, we have one antenna band. On the right side, we have two antenna bands. And on the top, we have one. We have six antenna bands. Now, something that has changed is on the top, that is where our speaker is. So the speaker, it's all the way to the top. So it's almost touching the aluminum sides. Look at that though. Look at the color, look at the aluminum, look at the gloss. It all ties in, it's so beautiful. Now let's finally go ahead and set up the phone swipe up now we are in spanish i don't speak spanish so let's go back and let's select canada okay nope okay there we go english don't know how we got to spanish select your country or region canada setting language quick start set up manually i'm gonna click next it may take a few minutes to activate your iphone so let's just give it a few minutes. Just put it down carefully. We already accidentally dropped it once. We don't want that happening again. Unable to activate. Your iPhone could not be activated because the activation server cannot be reached. Try connecting your iPhone to a Mac or to a PC with iTunes to activate it or try again in a couple of minutes. That is so weird. I'm just gonna click try again and see what happens. Oh, 
one more time. And if it doesn't work, then I guess we'll see what we're doing next. I'm just super confused because this has never, ever happened to me and I've done multiple unboxings in my life, so... Okay, so same problem. I need some help. Maybe because a lot of people are trying to activate their new iPhone 13s. There. Okay, well, my brother, I guess, activated it. So, I guess we'll see if he did the right thing. There we go. Okay, he did it. Data and privacy. We will go ahead and continue on that. Face ID. Let's go ahead and set it up right now. Okay, second one. There we go. Face ID is now set up. Okay, let's go ahead and continue and let's create a password. Let's do one, 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 one. Use anyways. Don't use this password as yours. It's like, it's so easy to get hacked. Okay, and then we're just gonna not transfer apps and data right now. I am just gonna click forgot password or don't have an Apple ID and then I'm gonna set up later in settings. Don't use. And then we got the terms and conditions. We're gonna just agree to that. We wanna use this phone. Keep your iPhone up to date, continue. iMessages and FaceTime, continue. Location services, we're gonna disable for now. We have Siri, let's continue. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. You can change it later in settings. Okay. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. You can change it later in settings. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. You can change it later in settings. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. You can change it later in settings. That is extremely cool. I don't think we ever got this option before. I'm not sure if it's an iOS 15 thing or if it's just a new thing that Apple added into the newer phones. But that is like extremely cool because now you can actually choose which Siri voice you want right off the bat and you don't have to go to the settings. Now, I love the classical Siri voice. We're gonna do voice four and we're gonna do next. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, send a message. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. There we go, and Hey Siri is complete. Ask Siri, we already know how to do that one. I've been an iPhone user for years, ever since I was like 11. Not a different thing, usual iPhone. Improve Siri and dictation, we're just gonna do not now. Screen time, we'll set up later in settings iPhone analytics, we're going to not share for now. And appearance, do we want dark or light? I'm thinking light since the phone is light. Let's do light on light today. Display zoom, zoom, and then we can do standard. I think we're just going to do standard for now. And then welcome to iPhone, swipe up to get started. I am insanely disappointed that we are already two to three years into COVID and we have masks, so we can't unlock our phone using Face ID. I really think that everything would have been put together if Apple put a fingerprint scanner, some way to unlock your phone without Face ID because of the masks, but maybe next year, I said that last year, but maybe Apple will end up watching some of the iPhone unboxings and come to my video and take the advice. But that would be amazing since, you know, masks and all and the pandemic. Now, an Apple iPhone would not be an Apple iPhone without its Apple case. I went ahead and picked up the chalk pink color for the iPhone 13 silicone case. And this is the MagSafe case. And let's go ahead and open it. My brother did already make an unboxing and open this. Didn't do a good job, I'm assuming. Average Apple case. This is the box. Gives us instructions on how to put it on. I do, however, love the color. I think it definitely goes with the phone. And there we go. And here is the iPhone 13.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Go ahead and follow my Instagram for updates on when I post, what videos I post, and so on. Comment down below what you think of the iPhone 13. Do you think the changes are good? Do you think there's no changes at all? What, what are your opinions on it? I would definitely like to get to know some things that you wish Apple added to it. For me, as I said, I really wish they put a fingerprint scanner, but unfortunately that's not the case. That is about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.